Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I have another wig review and demo for you today. Um, I got another one of the Charisma wigs, and so they come in this packaging. I'm so excited. In the package, you get this little information sheet about the fact that it is minimal shedding, minimal tangle, heat resistant, um, daily style, fashion wear. It has a SKU number, the length, and the return policy and then just some different information about how to use the wig and care for the wig so it comes with that it also comes with a wig cap which is super super nice i have a wig cap so i'm just going to keep this for later because i'll need it soon and here she is inside they come in another package and she still has her lace and everything on it i thought i took the lace off but it didn't so this is what she looks like. I'm like dying for this color. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at that beautiful ombre. So this is an ombre brown, which is nice because um, it can look very real. And she does have the lace front and the hairline is pre-plucked. This is a middle part. Inside there's three clips. You have two on the side and one here at the top and then also um, the back closures that can be adjusted. So let me just take the lace off and then we'll put her on. So when I take my lace off, what I usually do is I clip up wherever the part is. I cut that first um, and then I cut from the part and go to the end. And you wanna clip it really close to the hairline. So this is the first part and then we'll go on to the other side. You wanna take your time and just um, you know, make sure you're cutting just right along the hairline, but you're not cutting a crap ton of the hair because, you know, once you cut, you're done. It looks like real hair, but it doesn't grow back like hair. Okay, other piece done. I have this like wet dry brush. I feel like this is from Conair, and I feel like it works really nicely on the wig. So I'm just gonna just comb her out a little bit just to, cause she was in the package. There is some initial shedding. I found with the shorter wigs from Charisma, they do have some shedding initially. Um, part of it has to do with the fact that when you cut the lace off, there's gonna be some hairs that are loose because you're cutting, you're cutting them. I don't find that the shorter ones, once I wear them, I get a ton of shedding. It's just like initially. All right, I put my wigs on back to front. So before we do that, we gotta put our wig cap on. Since this is the center part, I'm actually gonna go in and part my hair in the center. And I wanna use like some of my own hair as baby hairs. So I'm going to leave out just the front part from the wig cap and then I'll set this down. So I'm just gonna leave this little bit out, put my hair back, put the wig cap on and set down the baby hairs and then I will put on the wig. So I just put my hair in a ponytail I leave the ponytail like sort of down low. I don't braid it or anything because when my hair is wet, it lays flat anyway. Where'd that wig cap go? Oh, hold on. And then I put the, I flatten my hair up onto my head like this and then I put the wig cap on from the back. And there we go. And I tuck everything in and get it up close to my hairline. I'm gonna use this Perfect Edges from Cream of Nature. I'm gonna set them down and then I'm gonna put on the wig. Okay, good enough. I put my wig cap, or I <laughs> pull the wig cap. I put my wigs on back to front just like my wig caps. I found these wigs are definitely big head friendly because I feel like I have to keep the, the straps really tight. I loop the back part up under my ponytail. Okay. Now I'm just going to set this right where my natural hair is. Oh, this is super cute. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to clip her in. And 
the brusher. And normally I would like maybe make baby hairs and add them into my hair. I don't have time for that today, which is okay. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer on the hairline into mine so that just to blend in my actual part. So I'm just gonna go like this. And then go back. So I can blend my part in there. Okay, and then I just sort of rub that in a little bit. Again, this is my real hair here, so I'm gonna pull that down a little bit. Um, I do have a spot on my own real hair in the front that is thin. So I am going to just add a slight bit of powder there just because in general I would do that because my hair is thinner there. And I'm also putting powder on what's called the knots which is this line here of the lace and I'm all ready to go. I mean like I said I would put, do more time with this but I'm late for work so I can't. So this is what it looks like at the end. I mean, this is so dang cute. I'll show you what the back looks like. So there's the back. Give her a little bit of life in the back. That is cute. That movement. So there's the back. Here's the front. I'm liking this so far. I'm gonna put a little bit of volume up in here and then I'm ready to go. Like this is just, sometimes there's like flyaways and stuff so I would light little spray. But other than that, like I'm, she's very comfortable. So I'll just do a light spray just to get the flyaways. There we go. Oh my goodness, I am loving her. So what do you think? Do you like her? All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video on this gorgeous wig. And if you're using Charisma wigs, let me know. If I say Charisma in some of my videos, I do because I have a, like a brain damage issue when it comes to calling this company Charisma, but it is Charisma. And if you tried any of these Charisma wigs, let me know. If you like this one, let me know that as well. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.